Hey there, what's going on? This is Mr. Jim. Hope you're doing well, staying happy and healthy, being kind to yourself and to others. And guess what we're going to do today? I got a whole bunch of percussion instruments out here, including what I'm sitting on. We're going to play some famous jingles and songs played on percussion instruments and do a little bit of name that tune without singing or humming the melody. It's going to be very interesting. We're going to play the melody out using the syllables of the words on our instruments. All of these instruments we have here, we're going to be using the cajon, the tambourine, the maraca, the egg shakers, sleigh bells, drumsticks with a tom drum, and as well as the bongo here. So let's get right to it. This one I like to do in the beginning and pretend like you're knocking on someone's door. See if you can figure out what this is. So that the code that unlocks this rhythm is five, two. Figure out what that is. Let's do it two more times. Okay, and here's our last one. Ooh, what was that? Can you figure out what that is? That's ba ba da ba 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 ba. It's called the famous door knock. Shaving a haircut, two bits. Shaving a haircut, two bits. And I play that on the cajon. All right, we're gonna take out the tambourine for the next one. Each instrument is going to get one use here. So we're going to use all these different instruments here. Let's see if we can figure out what this is. The code that unlocks this rhythm is 4473. We've done it before, but it's been a while. 4473. And it's hard to figure out what that might be not using a guitar that will actually play the melody of this song. So here we go. Let's take a listen first, see if we can figure out what it is. Do it again. Here we go. One, two, three. Awesome. Let's do it two more times. One, two, three, and. Last one. Awesome. Did you figure out what that was? It's a great song. It's a chocolate bar. It makes me very hungry. Who's hungry here? I know I am, especially for dessert. So this song is the Kit Kat theme song, right? If you didn't guess it, that is, give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar, right? So it's four, four, seven, three is the code that unlocks this rhythm. All right, so we're going to put the tambourine down because we already used it. We're only going to use each instrument once. We're going to get my guitar out for this next one. You might think, what in the Sam Hill? We're going to use my guitar as a percussion instrument? Yeah, you can because it's made out of wood. So we're going to play a little bit of the beginning melody. And we're going to see if we can figure out what it is just from the slight little beginning. And then I'm going to play the rest of it on the guitar like this. That's all we get. Here we go. of what I played in the beginning and then back and forth playing really really fast on your instrument. Do you know what song that is? There's only one word in the song. That is my clue. It's by the Safaris and a bunch of other bands. Wipeout, right? That's the beginning guitar part for Wipeout. And then we get to play it on the guitar like a drum, which is really cool. All right, so now we're going to do the drumsticks on their own. So we're not actually going to play it against something. We're going to play the drumsticks against one another. We're not going to play it against the tom or the bongos or anything else. So here we go. This is a classical song. That's my hint. Classical songs are from a long time ago, like the 1700s. Whew, a few hundred years ago. Wow, can you believe it? If you wrote a song that stood the test of time like that, that is an amazing thing. And I'm sure those composers that were writing songs back then had no idea the impact that some of the songs that they wrote back then would still have today. They're still relevant today, too. So here we go. This is a classical song. That's my hint. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Ooh. 
One more time. Figure out what that was. It's hard to figure that one out, especially because we're using the drumsticks and we're not actually playing the melody. I'll play part of the melody on the guitar and you can see if you can figure it out. That's just part of it. What do you think it is? It's from Beethoven. I'm not talking about the dog Beethoven or that movie. The song is called Ode to Joy or Joyful Joyful We Adore Thee, right? Very cool, let's move on to the next one. We're gonna use our egg shakers and our maraca together to play this one. This is a traditional children's song, that's my hint. It's not Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, just to put that out there. This is another traditional children's song that I'm sure you've heard before. It's pretty simple. We're gonna to try to play it with our egg shakers and maraca and play the syllables of the words, see if you can figure out what it is. Here we go, one, two, three. Another time, here we go. Can you figure out what that was? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I sang up the melody and put numbers along with it. What was that? I think you guessed it. Mary had a little lamb, right? Very cool. So we're going to put these down. Egg shakers and maracas. It's hard to, to, sometimes it's hard to figure out what these songs are if you don't hear the actual musical melody behind it. So we're do, that's why I wanted to do this as a little bit of a challenge for us. All right, this one's going to be a little bit easier, I think, because we're going to use the sleigh bells or jingle bells, and that's kind of the clue for the song. Here we go. One, two, three. what that was since we used the jingle bells slash sleigh bells it's a christmas song right that's jingle bells jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh hey right and then you just repeat it very very cool so we use that really neat to play that one all right so we're gonna do this one with the bongo and the tom drum this is pretty cool part of a drum set, right? I have a mat on top to dampen the sound. Otherwise, it sounds really boomy, but with that on it, it sounds a little bit nicer. Rather than, whoa, that's really loud, right? So we kind of dampen the sound, make it not so loud. So our first part is we're gonna play on the tom drum. This is called a tom drum and a floor tom because it sits on the floor. All right, you can see it's got little legs on the bottom, so it sits on the floor. Here we go. So that's like George, George, George of the jungle, 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 George, George, George of the jungle. And that's all it is. It's George of the jungle. Pretty silly, right? So now we're going to do some other songs that you might associate with percussion instruments. And we're going to use the tom with the cajon now. So I'm going to do... What song is this? Now this is not along to the syllables of the words. Something a little different here. This is just a traditional beat that a lot of people would know, I think. All 
right, this one is one, two, three, over and over again. The words are sung in between that. Did you guess it? It's a song you hear at baseball games and a lot of sporting events. We will rock you, right? We will, we will rock you, right? Over and over again to that one, two, three beat. All right, here's another song you might associate with percussion instruments and playing along with percussion. See if you can get this rhythm down. This is uh, going to be an interesting one. We'll see if we get this. I'm going to simulate this more with my mouth. So you can use your mouth as an instrument, right? And so this is one by the Beatles. That's my clue. And it's a really, really cool song. And they go, do, do, da, 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 ba, da, 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 boom, boom, ba, da, 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 boom, boom, ba, da, 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 boom, boom, ba, da, 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 ba, da. Oh, you're probably like, what is he doing? That's called scatting. It's sort of, sort of like babbling a little bit, almost like how a baby would like try to make words, and even though they might not make sense, that's what you would think of if you're playing this on a full drum set, which is what this song is really on. But I wanted to show you that you could use your voice in your throat, in your mouth, in your lips, and your tongue as a inst percussion instrument as well and try to put a song out there. So let's try this again. I'm going to simulate it. I'm going to make the noises with my mouth and play on the drum set, imaginary drum set, where this would be. And this would actually be over on this side of me since I'm a righty. So it would go... Anybody know what that is? It's from the Beatles. That's from Come Together, right? The beginning part. It's like. Da, 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 and all the way around and all the toms and all the different parts of the drum set. Use the bass, the hi-hat, the toms. It's really, really fun, that, that one to play. I thought I would simulate it by beatboxing it pretty much, using that as an instrument as well. So now we're just going to use our hands to play this next one. Just our hands, because you could do this, right? And this is a song that you might hear at sporting events as well. It's part of a song. It's, it doesn't go along with the words of the song. It's just the rhythm that I think we might know. So it's going to go like this. Do we know what this is? I hear this at some local minor league baseball games and professional games too. Do we know what that is? That's the intro from Car Wash. And usually it's played with a bunch of uh, different hand claps going together at the same time to create this big sort of sound like a whole bunch of people are doing it at once. So that's what we got for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. This again, this is Mr. Jim doing some fun uh, activities using the percussion instruments. And why not, right? Percussion, what a great thing. You could use your body as a percussion instrument. You could use your mouth. You could use traditional instruments. You could home make instruments. And I just wanted to put this out there. A little bit of a different session for us today with Name That Tune without actually playing too much, I did a little bit, without actually playing too much of the actual musical melody, we gotta try to see if we can figure out what it is by listening and putting our listening ears on, trying to figure it out in real time. It's all good. Peace and love and thumbs up and rock and roll and A-OK -okay and cowabunga. And we'll see you next time for who knows what. Bye-bye.